So here's an example of a one-to-many relationship created using Typify AutoFit. And this will create the following effect. So I've got some text here. and You'll notice that what actually happens again, you've got that automatic resizing of the text frame, but also the background behind it seems to be growing. Now that is something that can't actually be achieved with just InDesign. Because if I create a single shape like this, and I'll just go to normal view here by hitting the W and extract this shape or resize it. Notice what will happen to the corners. They will actually distort themselves. Now obviously this object was created using the corner effects script that I described in tip Digitip 67. So let's delete that and show you how this is actually done. Okay, so what's required? We actually need to do this with three different shapes. We've got this bottom shape that will start moving down, and we've got this middle shape that will grow as a background tint behind the text frame, and we've got this sort of static top shape here. First of all, we need to make sure that the text frame actually grows as more text is included at the moment. That doesn't happen. And I do that by setting the resize option for the selected frame to resize from top. Now because I've made this frame a tad bit deeper than the, the bottom of the baseline here, it is also automatically picking up the baseline gap. So that's six point from the bottom of the letter N to the bottom of the frame. You might need that in case you want to add some padding or something and you don't want your text to sit like that. And you'll notice it doesn't matter if I push this up, it will automatically jump back down again. So what sort of relationships do I need? Well, you need obviously two parent-child relationships because that's the one too many relationship that we're going to create. And the parent is always the object that is going to be growing and the child is the object that either needs to be resized or that needs to be repositioned as a result of this particular frame growing. So what we'll do, we'll push that over to the left hand side here and this bottom object is obviously the object that needs to be pushed down as this frame is growing. Now I'll set that one to many relationship first of all um, as a one to one. So from the bottom of the text frame to the top of this other object and now notice what happens. If I move this down it's not actually going to do what we think it would do. What it's actually doing is squashing that shape and that is because I didn't set any size restrictions for this particular frame here. So we can do that as well. Currently it's got a width and height setting as we can see of 174 by 34.5 points and we can automatically lock that in as the minimum and maximum height settings um, for width and height of the frame by clicking these little buttons here for minimum width, maximum width, minimum height and maximum height and what that will do it will actually use the current frame settings as the values for all these options here which is really nice because what happens now is if I move this down you'll actually notice because it can no longer resize that frame it has to push it down. Now the second relationship that I need to have from this particular parent is to the bottom of this middle frame here and again we use that, do that using the auto fit tool clicking on the bottom of this frame and clicking on the bottom of that frame there and we'll once again just see whether that starts to grow as I start to move this down and you can see that works fine. Okay, last but not least, or actually not entirely last, I'll select these three frames by drawing a marquee with the selection tool and just hitting the tip of all three of these frames and I'll make sure first of all that they're nicely aligned to the left hand side, they probably already were and then I'm going to make sure that my align option here is set to align to selection which is the default al align option that you have if you're using Creative Suite 2 version of InDesign and if I set the use spacing option to zero points and click the vertical space button here then it will automatically push zero points or no space between these objects. Now I've prepared this job a little bit earlier and I've actually again used the next style feature, created some paragraph styles for the heading and the body text and made sure that immediately following the heading the body text will be used is set as a next style. I've shown you that in earlier tips and I've also made that into a 
object style or an object style. If I just edit that for a sec and show you what I've done, the only thing that's actually enabled here is the paragraph style option. Now by the way, if you ever go into an object style and you create a new object style, you might have noticed at times that all of these ticks are selected and if you only want to use for instance an anchored object option or you only want to use a paragraph style option and you don't want to apply any of any of the other settings that are selected by default then the quickest way to enable the one that's switched off and disable the one that's switched on is holding down the option or alt key on the keyboard and just clicking the one that you want to select so that's a, a great quick toggle that you've got there now Paragraph style selected, we've selected the very first paragraph style that is going to be applied, which is heading, and then tick the apply next style option here, so that when I apply this object style to this frame, it automatically applies the heading to the first paragraph and the body text to the next paragraph. So here's a very simple example, once again, to, of, of a one to many relationship. Now you can obviously do some more things. You can add, try adding a line down the side and I'll make that a little bit bigger and once again grab that frame and use a one to many relationship to the bottom of that line and what will happen at that in that case if I start to add more text to this frame, the line will drop, will drop as well as you can see. So you can have as many, as many one-to-many relationships as you want really from one parent frame. To get this plugin for InDesign go to www.typify.com and download it and have a look at the other auto fit tips that I've put on my blog as well.